Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and in this video we're going to be heading over to run the second of three races for menu book and number 49 which is the X2019 Nations Cup in which we're going to be running in the Red Bull X2019 car. This is the second of two races I've already done the Sardegna one and I'm going to have Interlagos to do. I'm leaving Interlagos till last because it is I think one of the more difficult ones. In this one, we're going to be heading over to Dragon Trail Seaside in Europe. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to pop up to the options and make sure that we are on the hard difficulty that we're using for all of these races. We are, so we're good. We'll come out of there and we'll pop back to the race. The car that we're using, as I said, is going to be the Red Bull X 2019 competition. It is the only car that I've got. You can also run the Anniversary Edition, but I don't have that. I'm going to be running racing medium tyres. The suspension, the differential is all pretty much stock. I'm running 100 on the output, zero ballast and 100 on the power restrictor. But I have adjusted the, the uh, gearbox to be 330 kilometers per hour that's probably the only difference that I've made in there that just gives us a little bit more on the long straights and an opportunity to catch the fast cars up ahead so this is the Red Bull X 2019 Nations Cup Dragon Trail Seaside 14 laps to go from 10th to 1st so I'm running this on um, power level 1 I've got the traction control set to two and the brake balance is in the middle. That was my preferred option for this. The power level one will get you all the way through to the end of the race on one fuel. So we're doing a, a no stopper on this particular one. The only thing we've got to be careful of are the rear tires because they do wear quite quickly in these Nations Cup races. So as you can see there, I've got my brake balance all the way to the front just to try and release some of the pressure on those hard-working rear tires the other thing through this one i am trying not to spin up the rear wheels so i'm trying to introduce the acceleration gently and carefully and also not throw the car around too much although in the early part of this race we are really having to push it quite hard to get through the traffic and you can see there um, I didn't change up early enough, got the power down a little bit too big, too quickly, and the back end was sliding around. Through the chicane of death is a great place to catch up with cars. We're going to make some great time up through there. But as we come to finish the first lap, then we have managed to get ourselves up into eighth position, nine seconds away from the leader. 14 laps, so quite a fair old way to go. We just really got to settle down. Whilst we're in some clean now, I'm going to come across the line in fifth gear. As soon as we go around this corner, I'm just looking for the beginning of the kerb, that red area, braking all the way down into third gear, just picking the inside of this corner. Don't get right up on those kerbs because it will unsettle the car, but you can quite easily put your wheels on the kerb quite nicely. As we come around here again, braking at the beginning of that kerb area, down into third gear, and then up through the gears as we go down the hill. Now, I never really got a braking point for this particular corner probably the orange bit of the barrier on the right hand side there and then fifth gear all the way through here just be brave it will stick the uh, downforce on this car is quite amazing we're going to this one braking at the beginning of the curb on the left hand side down into third gear just leave it in third again just under acceleration the back end just stepping out a little bit through here i'm going fourth gear take loads of curb up into fifth just down into four for the exit and as you come out of that corner you can see you're so much quicker than the ai so that is a really great overtaking opportunity but please be careful if you end up following a car through the chicane of death as you exit the corner be careful because they're going a lot slower than you and you might actually have to brake a little bit more than you would otherwise want to Thankfully, the cars are falling quite nice for me at the moment, which is really good. So braking again at the beginning of that kerb, down at the second because I was closing up on Benelli really, really quickly and I needed to get the extra engine braking so if we didn't ram into the back of that car too much. 
again at the beginning of the curve there. I've gone for the inside second to get a little bit of rotation down into third so we don't push him off the track and we manage to get that move done really really nicely up the inside again just coming down to fourth gear through this corner then up into fifth as we come through these very fast twisty corners i love this bit of this track down the hill watching for the curb on the left hand side so around about the 150 meter board down into third gear gentle on the power so basically what i'm doing i've said this before with this car is you need to squeeze on the accelerator and then ease off on the accelerator likewise with the brake don't be too aggressive with the controls it really doesn't work with this particular car you need to treat it quite gently so you know turning in nice and progressively unwind the steering wheel ease on the accelerator sorry squeeze on the accelerator ease off the accelerator is the term that uh, i am using i picked that up in a book that i'm reading which is really really useful and helping me a lot trying to break all the way to the apex on some of these corners so that you can maximize the braking so braking as late as possible and then just keep that brake all the way to the corner trail braking as you go through the corner you can see there i'm just easing off on the brake pedal as we get into the apex and then on the power as quick as we can the other tip that i'll have for you and i've mentioned before and it's very very true for this car, for this car don't go to th full throttle until your steering wheel is less than 45 degrees anything more than 45 degrees and you're getting up to full throttle the back end of this car is going to start coming around and you're going to need to either catch it or you're going to be facing the barrier so my advice to you would be just to progressively introduce that acceleration as you unwind the steering wheel and once you get to 45 degrees then you can get your foot right the way down to 100% acceleration and you'll be good to go. You can see here I'm just gently putting the throttle through and again not going to full throttle until I'm pretty much facing where I want to go. In other words the car is straight and in a straight line. As always, you can pause and rewind the video to see exactly where I'm braking and exactly how I'm braking and turning in, etc. That is the joy of putting out these videos where I'm actually doing the complete race from start to finish. It does mean that you get to see how I performed, the good bits and the bad bits. I will just point out that I am not the perfect racer. I'm a B racer at best and um, there are people that will be taking better lines than me, better braking points, better gears. But this is what works for me as an average racer. And therefore, I think that correlates to quite a few of the people that normally watch my videos. And I hope that this one is going to help you. If it does, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That will really help me with the channel. So again, the car's fallen quite nicely for me through here, but again, did you see how slow that car was on the exit? And I really had trouble. In fact, I think I did actually run into the back of him. Thankfully, we didn't get damage on the front of the car. Might manage to just have got that slowed down fast enough. But that was what I was warning you about. If you catch up the cars through the chicane of death, they are extremely slow on the exit and that was the second place car that we've just overtaken so we are up to sixth place sorry we're up to second place on the sixth lap and we've still got a long long way to go now we're still, still three and a half seconds away from the car in front so just using a bit of first gear to get it slowed down through there you need to be very minded of the tires the front tire wear is looking fine but already you can see that we're probably about a quarter worn on those rear tyres as we're coming up to uh, not quite halfway. So the tyre wear is fine for the moment, but I do tend to find that when this car steps over a third worn on the rear tyres, then I did tend to find that the back of the car was moving around quite a fair bit. So just keep that one in mind and adjust your braking accordingly as you go through the race. Basically what I was doing was just bringing my braking forward slightly a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. Just a very slight amount each time just to make sure that 
we are running without too many issues. So as we come across the start finish line to start the seventh lap, the fuel position is good. We're still well over halfway up the uh, fuel gauge. The tyres are starting to wear a little bit, so we're starting to slip around a little bit, which we need to be careful. So again, just being very careful about how the, the acceleration is being applied. Keep it gradual, keep it smooth. Try not to let that back end move around too much. Setting purple time still, so we're still pushing on quite nicely. Just hook up these apex as you go through here. Again, you'll see that I'm getting the inside tires or trying to get the inside tires on the flat part of the curb there not on the bit of curb that rises up I tended to find that if I got my wheels up on those curbs then it would unsettle the car quite a fair bit and therefore I prefer to keep it flat other than through the chicane of death where you can take as much curb as you want and again you can see how we closed up on Lopez as we exited out of the chicane of death and already seven tenths of a second up as we get to this last corner of the lap. So that is one of the areas where you can really, really catch up with the cars in front and a great, great overtaking opportunity throughout this race. And it doesn't matter whether you are up against the slowest car or the quickest car, they all seem quite slow through that little area, exiting the chicane of death. So just coming up to this corner, being really brave on the uh, turn in of that corner, third gear through here. We're in clean air now, so this is all about just maintaining the gap to the cars behind. Around about a second would be great. Um, I'm just about managing that at the moment. It'd be nice if we got a three, four, or even five second penalty. At this stage with just a one second sorry not a penalty a gap at this stage with a one 1 1.3 second advantage over the cars behind I need to make sure that I am keeping this honest and just keeping it in the same direction so as I'm running this one I'm just being very careful to make sure that I'm braking early and my turnings are good getting the acceleration down is good and just being very, very, very careful as I run through this race. So the field behind is, seems to be uh, stretched out quite a bit. I'm just checking to make sure the fuel is okay. We've got 9.8 laps, so that's gonna take us up to, um, do the math while I'm driving, um, 18 laps. So we've got four laps of fuel in the bag, which is absolutely fine. So we don't need to worry about that at all. I'm gonna leave that on the fuel map at the moment whilst I just negotiate these uh, corners. Uh, I remind you on brake balance all the way to the front still. I've still got traction control 2 on. The traction control I normally run on 0 but I've got it on 2 running in this car just so that if the back end does step out if we're a little bit greedy on the acceleration especially on this corner then that traction control is just going to steady us up a little bit so it gives you that little bit of confidence with this very 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 quick car again taking loads of curbs fifth on the exit now oh that's the best i've taken that that exit all the way through this race uh, what's that done to the gap let's just get around this corner first just uh, through here on the power as soon as we get it straight so we wow nearly two seconds ahead of the cars behind now well, that's dropped down to 1.2 so somebody had a really good exit behind us probably got a bit of a slipstream as well so we're going to need to continue to push lap 10 of 14 oh, a little bit deep into there that's going to cost us ever such a, a small amount braking at the beginning of the curb there second gear for rotation went a little bit deep on that one I'm pushing a little bit too hard now with this car behind. Um, heart's going, adrenaline's pumping. Really need to work. Driving is almost as if this was my last lap. But we have got four more laps to do. 
after this one, just come through here. Chicane of death once more. Back end just sliding around. A little bit concerned about the tyres at this point. Let's just get through here. Just going fifth through there, really nice. If you haven't got any cars around you, fifth gear through there is really cool in this car. But um, just a quick look at the tyres there. We're going to have another look as we come around this corner and we go up the hill. Yeah, those tyres are not looking great at the moment. We are about two thirds worn and we've still got four laps to do. So um, some way to go on this particular race yet. And we really do need to make sure that we bring this home on the tyres. As you can see, a oh, bit of a slide there. Absolutely no way of doing this one on soft tyres. They would be absolutely shot by now and nobody appears to be pitting on this particular race. So I'm assuming that most people are running the medium or the hard tyres. Obviously, hard tyres will give you the longevity to get you through the race. You'd have quite a fair bit of tread by now, probably about half worn or maybe even less, but it's not going to give you the performance to get through the field. Now, we did come through the field quite nicely, but if you just look at the map and you look at the time to the car behind a bit of a slide there the car behind is still only around about three seconds a lap behind us so really for me i think the medium tires are the only way to go in this particular race my times don't look too bad i think we are around about uh, a 120 121 so hovering around about a second each lap so the consistency is reasonable and at the moment it looks we're just over three seconds a lap uh, uh, sorry three seconds ahead of the car behind so i'm narrating this one while i'm running so my mind is very very much on trying to concentrate as well as just keeping an eye on where everything is narrating turning points etc I don't think my braking points, my turning points or anything have changed that much. I'm just braking a little bit earlier as we are running out of tyres on the back end. Otherwise, really much the same. So as I come down here, I'm going to be braking at the beginning of the dark part of the kerb. Down at the second, a little bit deep into there as I'm losing some braking efficiency with those rear tyres going off. Again, a little bit of a slide on the exit there. You can just uh, feel the car, see the car just twitching slightly under braking. Fifth through there, all oh, just managed to keep that out of the wall. Nearly hit the wall there. That was awfully close. Braking a little bit earlier now into this corner. Second, just to get it slowed down. Third gear on the power as soon as we can. So we're going to come across the line to start our penultimate lap. The rear tyres look pretty worn. A quick glance there, the left hand one, left hand one looked really worn. So I'm just being careful on some of these corners. Taking another quick look actually, they both look pretty worn on the back. The fronts are wearing okay. So I can lean on the fronts a little bit, but I have got to be very careful under acceleration and braking because those rear tyres really are going away from me now. So break in on the orange part of the arm cove on the right hand side there, just fifth through here, same as before, gentle with the accelerator. As we come down the hill, braking at the beginning of the black bit of the curve, I think it's around about 150 metre board. That was a little bit better, I broke ever so slightly earlier then, up into third, up into fifth as we go across that curb. Just leave it in fifth, drift out to the right hand side and sweep across to the left. Careful not to hit the wall as we go through here. Braking now a little bit earlier again for this last corner. Third gear. Could take a little bit more of the track on the exit there, so it could probably take a little bit more speed through there. But we have managed to get the gap now out to around about five seconds, which is a comfortable margin as we go into the final lap so i'm just going to take this a little bit more easier than i have been make sure that we don't get a spin especially with those tires looking a bit iffy 
as they are now. As I go around this tight right hander, I'm probably pretty much going to be out of tyre on the rear left. Quick through here, this is going to eat up the tyres as well a little bit through here, making sure that I'm not squealing the tyres, trying to keep it smooth through there as much as possible. Quick check of the tyres, I've got a tiniest, tiniest little bit of white showing on the left hand rear tyre. Front's looking good. Again, same thing through here, up in the fourth, up in the fifth as we go across that kerb, across to the right, sweep across. I didn't quite go across to the right enough on that one, so the exit was a little bit compromised. With that, we completely destroy the left-hand rear tyre. It's completely red now as we come up to finish this race. So we've really used all of the tyres in this one, all of those medium racing tyres. Obviously, if you're using the soft tyres, I think you're going to end up pitting. A pit stop is going to cost you 20, 25 seconds thereabouts. That's going to put you way, way back down the pack, you know, almost at the... Well, I think you'll probably be in last place. So, medium tyres, only way to go there. 190,000 credits. We didn't get a clean race bonus. Bumped a few people through that race. But this is more about getting the gold trophy. We've got our second stamp on the menu book, which is really great. But that is how I did the Red Bull X 2019 Nations Cup at the Dragon Trail Seaside track. Really needed to push on at the early part of this one, but very, very easy. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on another video coming very soon, which is more than likely going to be the dreaded X2019 at Argos, at Intel Argos. Join me for that. For now, take care. Bye-bye.